Hello, welcome to Joyful Angel Oracle. I'm Angelia Joy. Thank you for joining me. Today we're calling on the Enchanted Map by Colette Baron Reed. Your choices for the individualized oracle offering are Bloom, Smile, Believe. Today we'll be drawing two cards for each option. So I'll open with the invocation. If you would like, you can take this time to set your intention and focus your awareness. I ask the divine energy of love that permeates the universe and bonds all in one to guide each of us seeking into the highest truth we are ready to understand. And so it is. Our first card and our second card. Our third card and our fourth card. Our fifth card and our I did all these upside down. Oh, just that one. And we'll begin here in the bloom position. For our first card, we have number 19, Dragon's Lair. You are always protected and divinely directed. You have a remarkable internal warning system that lets you know when things are out of alignment. You are about to enter dangerous territory, so tread carefully and be aware of your surroundings. The path you're on now is one that will challenge you to the core. That said, peril is also exciting and exhilarating, like the danger you feel before entering a new relationship, knowing that you'll be changed forever. A life fully lived isn't lived only in safety. A new experience is calling to you, one that will test your courage. The choice is yours, but there is greater value in risk-taking than remaining unchallenged. New territories are waiting to be discovered. And here to support that, <laughs> we have number 34, Spark. You are a clear channel for divine creativity. There is a spark of creativity in you, and you have every reason to move forward with optimism and hope. Open yourself to inspiration and allow life to show you its beauty and your part in co-creating it. This is the perfect time to give birth to an idea, start a new relationship, or begin an endeavor. Attraction is high as you connect with others who can co-create joyous experiences and join with you in expressing the finer aspects of life. Watching a spark turning to a flame and stoking that fire is a gratifying activity. Beautiful messages here. For smile, the first part of the message is number seven into the unknown. Trust and all will be revealed. Life is an adventure and often new opportunities will arise that you won't know how to deal with. This is one of those times. You're required to trust that this new phase 
will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into unknown territory. Imagine that you are not only a pathfinder, but a path maker. Whatever your inquiry, trust that you'll be safe. Stay aware as you discover new and marvelous territories and valuable treasures. And here in the second half of the message, we have number two, Gentle Gardener. Be your own person, a conscious co-creator. The Gentle Gardener is visiting you at this moment in your life to remind you that your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs create the reality you experience. She is the embodiment of the energy within you that is sent out into the field of co-creation and ensures that all you are is reflected in the world of form. Are you aware of your thoughts? What is their quality? Believe in limitless possibility and you will see miracles unfold. The gentle gardener guarantees the integrity of everything you send out into the world. Stay positive and expect a wondrous return. Your garden is abundant with beauty. And here, in the believe position, the first part of the message is number 39, protecting treasure. You are always protected and divinely directed. Although this is a time of great risk, know that at a fundamental level you are able to move forward safely and securely. The proverbial nest egg is safe and sound, no matter the fluctuations in the world. Guardian angels and other guides are whispering to you, making you aware of their protective presence. Your loyalty is an important thing now. Nurture that which you hold dear. This is a good time to strengthen bonds of friendship and to ensure their integrity. If you feel tested right now, know that a true and loyal heart always achieves its aim. Take refuge under an angel's wing. You are not alone and you have no need to fear. Embrace your courage. And here we have in reverse the bone collector, which is incredible because I always, almost always check my cards to make sure they're all facing one way. The bone collector, you are whole and have everything you need within. In the reversed position, the past has a way of repeating itself when you haven't learned the lesson inherent in the original situation. You're faced with this now. The bone collector is here to challenge you to see yourself as a whole being and not one who is perpetually trying to heal an old wound. You'll repeat the past if you don't reclaim the things you believe were lost. The information you seek lies in your history. Familiarity isn't, in this case, isn't an invitation to dance the old dance once again. Instead, it is a call to retreat and choose differently. The bone collector has a message. If you do what you did, you'll get what you got. Her warning is delivered with kindness, for she has deep love and respect for you, and she will protect you. I think they are all beautiful messages. I love how the tops are all pretty much about um, you're protected and you're divinely being guided. And then here is about the, the nurturing and the creativity that can well up when you begin to believe and accept um, that all is well indeed and that you are safe and protected along your journey. Looks like a beautiful and interesting day for all of us ahead regardless of which one we chose. Be well. Know you are loved and cherished and adored. And we'll return again tomorrow. Thank you.